In this video, we will study what is coefficient of correlation. Now, to calculate coefficient of correlation, there is a formula which was given by Carl Pearson. So, what we are going to study is Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient. Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient is denoted by the symbol R and the formula is R is equal to summation x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by square root of summation x minus x bar the whole square into summation y minus y bar the whole square here x bar and y bar will be the mean of the two groups Now the important thing to remember is the value of r will always lie between minus 1 and plus 1. r will be always lying between minus 1 and plus 1. Okay. Let's take an example. To see how to calculate Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient. Let's say there are two groups A and B. The observations of A and B are as follows. And for B, okay. Now, when there are two groups A and B, we need to assign one of them as X and one of them as Y. So for getting a solution, we will prepare a table and get all the values required in the formula. So the first two columns, that is x and y, will come directly from the questionnaire. And that is 10, 3, 4, 1, 2 and 5, 4, 9, 1, 1. Now, looking at the formula, we need x minus x bar and y minus y bar. So, our next formula, next column will be x minus x bar and then y minus y bar. But if you look carefully, the numerator is the summation of x minus x bar into y minus y bar so that means the column actually required is x minus x bar into y minus y bar that is the numerator and then if you look in the denominator you need x minus x bar square and y minus y bar the whole square so additional two columns which will be x minus x bar the whole square and y minus y bar the whole square. To get the solution you need these columns. Now if you see 
we need x bar and y bar first x bar that is mean of x will be the total of the x column divided by the number of observations that is summation x upon n that will be summation of x which will be this column is equal to 10 plus 3 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 and the total is 20 and n which is the number of observations are 1 2 3 4 and 5 5 so 20 divided by 5 x bar is equal to 4 The next we also need y bar which will be summation of the y column divided by n. What we are doing is basically taking the mean of that column or the average. Summation y will be the total of y column that is 5 plus 4 plus 9 plus 1 plus 1 and the total here again is 20. So summation y is 20 divided by n that is 5. y bar is also 4. Now we can calculate x minus x bar. So x for the first row x is 10 minus x bar just calculated is 4. The answer is 6. Further, 3 minus 4, the answer is minus 1. 4 minus 4, that is 0. 1 minus 4, it is minus 3. And 2 minus 4, that is minus 2. The same thing we will do for y minus y bar, which will be 5 minus 4 that is 1 4 minus 4 that is 0 9 minus 4 that is 5 1 minus 4 that is minus 3 and 1 minus 4 that is minus 3 now that you have the two columns the next column is x minus x bar into y minus y bar. So what you're doing is multiplying these two columns x minus x bar into y minus y bar. So let us multiply and get this column. It will be 6 into 1 that is 6 minus 1 into 0 that is 0. 0 into 5 again 0 minus 3 into minus 3 will be plus 9 and minus 2 into minus 3 which will be plus 6 and we also need the total of this column total of this column will be 21 The next column is x minus x bar this whole square. So that is our third column x minus x bar. If you just take the square of individual numbers in this column, you will get all the elements of x minus x bar the whole square. So that will be 6 square, which is 36, minus 1 square, which is 1. And doing that for the rest 0 square is 0 minus 3 square is 9 and minus 2 square is 4 and we will take the total of this column the total of this column is 50 
Now for the last column y minus y bar the whole square. We will go to the next y minus y bar column and take the square of all the elements in that column. So y minus y bar the whole square will be 1 square that is 1, 0 square that is 0, 5 square that is 25. The next minus 3 square that is 9 and minus 3 square that is 9. Taking the total of this column, the total comes to 44. Now we have all the elements of the formula to calculate Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient. So directly now applying the formula r is equal to summation of x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by square root of summation x minus x bar the whole square into summation y minus y bar the whole square. That is equal to the numerator is summation of x minus x bar into y minus y bar which we have calculated the third last row x minus x bar into y minus y bar the total summation is 21 that will be 21 divided by square root of Summation of x minus x bar the whole square is our second last column and the sum total of that column is 50 square root of 50 into summation y minus y bar the whole square is our last column and that is 44. So 50 into 44. Solving this further will be equal to 21 divided by 50 into 44. And the answer is square root of 2200. That is equal to 21 divided by square root of 2200 is 46. Point 904 and finally the value of r will be equal to 21 divided by 46.904 and the answer is 0 0.4477 this is how you calculate correlation coefficient by the formula given by Carl Pearson. If you see the value of R is 0.4477 which is lying between minus 1 and plus 1. 